In the previous video, I introduced the factor theorem. And we're going to use that in this video just to show you kind of how this is going to work and what to look out for. So here's a couple of questions. Look at, let's have a look at question one. Show that x minus 5 is a factor of f of x. Okay, where f of x is given by this cubic polynomial here. Now, one thing that a lot of students make the mistake of doing here is to use polynomial division. Now, I'm not saying that polynomial division isn't going to work. But what I'm saying to you is that there's a lot more mistakes that can be made with polynomial division. And this, using the factor theorem, is a lot quicker. If the question specifically states to use the factor theorem, you must use this method that I'm going to show you. OK? So not only is this quicker, but you may as well use it all the time. So show that x minus 5 is a factor of f of x. So the factor theorem says that if x minus 5 is a factor, then f of 5 should be equal to 0. And we just need to show that. So we substitute 5 into this. We have 5 cubed, take away 2 lots of 5 squared, take away 22 lots of 5, plus 35. So 5 cubed is 125. Take away 2 lots of 5 squared to so take away 50. Take away 22 lots of 5, that's 110. And then plus 35. So 125 take away 50 is minus 75. Um, oh, sorry, 75. Then take away 110 is minus 35. Plus 35 would be 0. OK? Now, because f of 5 is equal to 0, we want to write down a concluding statement. OK? So therefore, x minus 5 is a factor of f of x. OK? You want to write down your calculation and a concluding statement. OK? Don't forget that bit. So let's have a look at the second one. Show that x plus 2 is a factor of g of x. So if x plus 2 is a factor, then g of minus 2 should be equal to 0. So we need to substitute minus 2 into this. Because it's a negative number, it's a lot easier if you use brackets. So we've got 2 lots of minus 2 cubed plus minus 2 squared. Take away minus 2 plus 10. So we have 2 lots of minus 2 cubed. So minus 2 cubed is minus 8. 2 lots of minus 8 is minus 16. Plus minus 2 squared, so plus 4. Then we've got take away minus 2, so plus 2. And then we've got plus 10. So we've got minus 16, plus 4 is minus 12, plus 2 is minus 10, plus 10 is 0. Therefore, so the concluding statement, x plus 2 is a factor of g of x. OK? Now, I can't... Um, underline this enough to make sure you have this concluding statement. Some of these questions uh, are two marks, so you're looking for one mark for the calculation to confirm that you get zero, and the second mark for your concluding statement.